Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Royal Cancer Royal Beginnings again. Um, today, we'll be talking about nourishing your puppy and kitten's health through nutrition, and hopefully you learn something new and very insightful. And please don't forget to share what you learn to your friends and family. Okay, so for my talk today, we'll be talking about nourishing nutrition and how to choose the right food for your puppy and kitten based on nutritional truth. So choosing the right food for your puppy and kitten is a very overwhelming decision because there's sobrang raming options out there right now. And also, sobrang daming iba ibang opinions on what actually makes a pet food good. So at Royal Canon, we offer individualized health nutrition worldwide that respects the specific needs of cats and dogs because we fundamentally believe in the distinct nutritional needs of pets. So my talk today will hopefully help to inform you and support you as pet parents, just like I am. I'm a pet parent. And we also hope that you share the belief that the most natural way to feed a pet is according to their precise needs and according to their nature. So let's get right to it. So when you're choosing the right food, there are three very important questions to ask. Well, number one, is it safe? Second, is it nutritious? And third, is it right for my puppy or kitten? So let's go to the first question. Of course, as a pet parent, safety is our number one priority, diba? So this is really the first question anyone should ask when considering a pet food, is it safe? So regardless of all other qualities, we absolutely have to be sure that we do no harm to our very fragile puppy or kitten. And there are a number of factors that impact food safety, as you can see here. And this, these are things that you should validate with a pet food company. So do they do supplier validation audits? Do they have a uh, raw material evaluation? Yung ginagamit pa nila ingredients sa kanilang pet food, in-examine ba nila to isa-isa? Where do they manufacture uh, their pet food? How do they uh, process their pet food? And yung mga methods nila? Do they have um, a storage, a proper storage for their finished product? And meron ba silang quality control at all levels? Okay. And there are also um, example questions to ask a pet food company. And I encourage you to ask these questions when choosing the right food for your puppy and kitten. These questions were provided by the World Small Animal uh, Veterinary Association. You can, so you can find this online. Some examples is first, do they employ a full-time qualified nutritionist? Sino yung formulate ng kanilang pet food? Okay, nutritionist ba ito? So for Royal Canon, we have board-certified veterinary nutritionists. Uh, these nutritionists have PhDs. And we also have associates with master's degree in small animal nutrition. Next, what are the quality control measures they use to assure yung consistency and the quality of their ingredients as well as the end product, yung, yung food mismo na nakapackage na? So again, for example, at Royal Canon, we do more than 500,000 in-depth analysis um, each year at our factories. And we use advanced technologies at several critical control points to make sure that the pet food that you get, that you will give to your beloved puppy or kitten is safe. And next, what kind of product research has been conducted? Pagkatapos ba ito na iproduce, ilalabas na? That shouldn't be the case. So there should be clinical trials for efficacy. And this should be done with vets and also pet owners. They can also do peer-reviewed research by scientists, leading scientists. And also field trials in collaboration with breeders and other pet professionals. So again, I encourage you as a responsible pet owner to please ask these questions. Next question, is it nutritious? So puppies and kittens, they require nutrients, okay? They require nutrients, not ingredients. But what is the difference in ingredients and nutrients? So ingredients, these are the raw materials in a diet that are vehicles to deliver nutrients. So ito yung nagdadala ng nutrients sa katawan ng puppy and kitten nyo. For example, poultry meal, rice, and fish oil. So high-quality ingredients are the ones that are easy to digest and tutuno agad and absorb by your pet, especially puppy and kitten. They are still developing. They need food that they can easily digest and absorb. Next, yung nutrients. What are nutrients? So nutrients, 
these are the ones that are absorbed and actually used by the body. For example, protein, carbohydrates, fatty acids. And there are also essential nutrients that tinatawag na hindi kaya iproduce ng katawan ng pet ninyo, ng puppy or kitten. Okay? So remember that the ingredient's name, kung ano man yung ingredient niyo, is not really important to your pet. What is important is the essential nutrients it, it contains and also how digestible it is. After all, hindi naman kaya magbasa ng dog or cat niyo ng no ingredients list. It's not important to them. What's important is the nutrition that their body needs. So at Royal Canaan, we do use a nutrient-based um, approach wherein we study the nutritional needs of pets and we base the diet on this optimal and best profile, okay? And this is really the most precise way to tailor nutrition the specific needs of your puppy and kitten. And also, trivia, there are 40 essential nutrients that both cats and dogs need. So these are the nutrients na hindi kaya nilang gawin mag-isa, ng katawan nila. So all these 40 um, essential nutrients are already provided by Royal Canon Diet. So when you actually um, give your puppy or kitten Royal Canon Diets, you don't need to give extra supplemental vitamins. So next question, last question, is it right for this pet? So is it completely adapted to fulfill your, fulfill your um, puppy or kitten's needs? So a food, it can be safe, it can be nutritious, but still, hindi siya yung best choice for your puppy or kitten. So the right food for your puppy and kitten should address their specific needs. For example, their age, their size, their breed, and also their sensitivities. Because there are some breeds that are sensitive to some things and others are not. So these are um, things that the pet food should address. And this will help them be in um, ongoing health a healthy condition throughout their lives, up to maturity, up to aging and senior years. Okay, so now you know the three important questions. Is it safe? Is it nutritious? Is it right for your pet? Now I'd like to change the conversation and talk about nutritional truths and also debunking myths and understanding the misconceptions in pet food. Right now, there are these trending topics, byproducts, grains, and raw food. Are byproducts bad? Mas ba to pag nasa pet food ko ito? Um, are grains um, bad as well? Uh, allergic ba talaga ang dog and cats to grains? And how about raw food? Is it safe for my pet? So let's start with byproducts. So byproducts are actually very nutritious. But what are they? So they are materials that we have in, in society an excess of. So, sobra, sobra. Hindi siya nagagamit. Okay? Um, not all of it. Some, uh, for example, yung mga casings ng hot dogs and loganisa, those are actually byproducts. Okay? So, these can be plant or animal sources. And also important to say na what a byproduct is depends on the culture, depends on the countries. For example, yung paan na manok, chicken feet or adidas, isaw, pig's ears na ginagamit sa sisig. These are all byproducts um, if you ask someone from another country. You know? But here in the Philippines, we, we don't consider these are byproducts. These are actually food that Filipinos consume. Okay? So proteins, vitamins, and minerals that are essential to the health of your pet are in abundance. Sobrang dami nila in byproducts. Other byproducts, kunwari, ay heart organ. So hearts are uh, sources of taurine and L-carnitine for the, a good or a healthy cardiac muscle. Liver, okay, this is a source of iron and B vitamins. And connective tissues, these are sources of chondroitin and protein. So there's also the dehydrated uh, meat meal, okay? This is also a byproduct. So what is a dehydrated meat meal? Simply put, this is actually just fresh meat na tinanggal yung water and fat. And once it tinanggal my water and fat, is a, it's an excellent source of high-quality, high-digestible protein. So at Royal Canon, we use only high-quality byproducts from our validated supplier who again go through regular audits. And these high-quality byproducts, they're not only safe and nutritious for your pet, but they also have a lower impact on the environment and in the long run, it's more sustainable for the planet. Okay, so those are byproducts. So byproducts are nutritious. 
Next are grains. Okay, so grains are also nutritious and they supply many important nutrients, including protein, carbohydrates, fiber, essential fatty acids, vitamins, and minerals. So pet foods may include one or maybe more grains, such as rice, wheat, corn, barley, and oats. And while grain-free foods right now are very popular, lots of them out there in the market, we can't deny the dietary value or the importance of grains for our pets. Okay, So there are a few cases, very rare, na the dog or cat can be allergic to grains, but this has to be really diagnosed with your veterinarian. Okay, Again, this is very rare. Very rare. I've never experienced this. I've never um, come across a patient with a uh, grain-free allergy. No? And also cats and dogs, they actually can um, digest grains using the enzymes in their stomachs. Okay, so kain nila tong tunawin. Kasi sabi, may nagsasabi na they can't because they're carnivores. No? But the truth is, they can digest grains. In fact, some plant proteins coming from grains are more digestible than animal ones as long as it's properly grounded and cooked. Okay, so now we go to the last trending topic. Opposite of cook is raw. So what about raw food? Is it nutritious? So again, this is very popular right now. There are raw food out there um, either commercially available or home prepared. However, wala talagang proven health benefits ang raw feeding. And there are many risks associated with feeding cats and dogs raw, or even undercooked food. So what are these risks? First, nutritional inadequacy. So marami dyang raw diet na unbalanced. And they may contain um, nutrition uh, deficiencies, nutrient deficiencies, or excesses. So either kulang sila sa nutrient or sobra-sobra. In addition, feeding high levels of animal tissue, such as thyroid glands, can be seriously damaging to your pet's health. So when a nutrient is deficient or in excess, this can have very bad um, consequences to your puppy and kitten. And in fact, there was a study of 200 homemade and commercially um, prepared raw diets. It was found na 5% lang noon ng 200 ang balance. Okay. Next is risk to your pet safety. So what are these risks? Risk of obstruction or yung nagbabara sa intestinal tract, yung mga bones na nasasama sa raw food, or um, pwede rin makabutas yung bones nito, makaperforate sa loob din, sa intestine, especially na inyong puppy and kitten. Lately, it nila, they're very fragile. They're you know, easily hurt you know, by bones like this. So that's the risk to your pets, and this can be very life-threatening. And lastly is the food safety risk. So this is more for you as a pet parent. So commercial and homemade raw diets, they contain pathogenic uh, bacteria. So these are organisms that can cause sickness like Salmonella, E. coli, and Campylobacter. Now your kitten or your puppy can carry Salmonella. Let's say na kumain siya raw food, may Salmonella pa rin raw food. They can carry the Salmonella. They won't get sick, but they can shed the Salmonella. Kaya yun nilang ikalat yung Salmonella in their poop and saliva. And ang magiging at risk ay in pregnant women, especially children, the elderly, and those with um, immunocompromised systems and comorbidities. But generally, anyone can be at risk from salmonella. Okay, so that's it. Those are the three uh, topics that I want to discuss uh, byproducts, grains, and raw food. So now, I ask you again, when choosing your puppy or kitten's food, please remember these three important questions. Safe ba ito? Is it nutritious? And is it right for your puppy and kitten? And remember the nutritional truths that puppy and kittens, they need nutrients, okay? They don't need ingredients. So that's it for me today. Thank you very much.